And in terms of boot camp, um, and you mentioned just words like, how much pain are you willing to endure? Um, that Those are questions I ask myself. I, you're going to talk about Jim Dolan. Uh, <laughs> in the next. <laughs> you're a smart man. You're a smart man. It's 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 definitely questions I ask myself as a as a Nick fan growing up and uh, born in Brooklyn, raised in Staten Island, uh, Matthew. Um, how much pain are you willing to endure, Matthew? How much pain? Isn't it isn't it weird because there there's been so many moves that you thought. Well, this is good. We got Carmelo. We got Stoudemire. We got Larry Johnson. I mean, what well, else? Phil those Jackson. Phil good Jackson. Years, they get Phil Jackson Phil to Jackson. run the team. Yeah. How did that well, happen? How is it that we 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 made so many good moves that went so wrong? You know, it. How, what happened? I mean, what I, I I it it is it is baffling that that uh, that. Uh, you know, it's like standing with somebody who keeps putting quarters in the slot machine and never, never wins. <laughs> it's it's you interesting. Know, you think? You yes, know. the Knicks are a one-armed bandit. Yeah. Basically, is what you're saying. Is there any? <laughs> is there any part of you, any part of you that thinks, yeah, Brooklyn Nets aren't a bad uh, team to root for? Uh, the Durant and Kyrie. I can't and, do it. No, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. Why? Nope. I got Kyrie nope. and Durant and Steve Nash is a coach. I mean, a beautiful facility in Brooklyn. You can get to it easily, Matthew. No. That's, you're not even thinking of that, huh? No, that you know it's I, I, that like you know the Boston fans that had to suffer for so many years, or, or worse, the Chicago fans that you know with the goat. Uh, that it, it just makes it that much sweeter. There was some, I was listening to sports radio yesterday, and they okay. were talking about Dirk, Dirk Nowitzki that okay. he could have gone to so many teams and won a ring so much earlier, but. The fact that he suffered through those 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 years where they almost 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 were always there, and then to finally win it, it makes it that much sweeter. So, you know, sticking with the Knicks and and uh, and hoping, f- f- you know, that it'll just make it that much better when they when they do. The you know, Knicks- it's like being a Mets. It's like being a Mets fan right now. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> what you're saying, if I'm not mistaken, the Knicks are your team. There's no one else like it, and that one is yours. Essentially, you sound you sound like you're talking about your rifle and Full Metal Jacket, and you won't give it up, <laughs> right? So it's, yeah. it, this is my team. There are many like it, but this, this one, one is, is mine. mine. Right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then to use another phrase, like you're looking around, you know, uh, wh- why would you make this move? None of you dumbasses knows. Basically, it's, it's another sort of line from Full Metal Jacket trying to figure out what's going on with the Knicks, but you're still sticking yeah. with them. God bless you. Yeah, God bless yeah. You. I mean, all those years we suffered with Michael Jordan. Oh. I, I love him. I think I, I appreciate How him. Would, I when assume, he came to the when he came to the Garden, all I wanted to do was beat him. I don't, oh, you know. What was it? I assume you saw the Last Dance. I, that was for me as a Knicks fan, reliving the Charles Smith moment reliving the, yeah. the you know when Jordan comes back and he's struggling and he gets to the garden and he you know he and Bill Wennington combined for 57 points you know um yeah. and oh my god it, it was tough it was tough to sit through that because the Knicks had it that was that, those were the teams Matthew that was it yeah that was it that was it that was it then we got the Pat Riley years and now he's now he's got the heat two games from the finals again without LeBron, yeah. maybe to yep. face LeBron. This could be it. Oh, yeah. man. Well, look, I appreciate you calling in and ha- uh, commiserating with me uh, best you can. Um, and uh, this. What about you? You're not going to you're not going to go to the Brooklyn Nets. I'm done with them, Matthew. I didn't want to go in this direction because I don't want to get you in any trouble if you want to still go to the games. But when the minute Oakley got dragged <laughs> out of the garden, I was finished. I was finished. Uh, yeah. I'm like, how can he sit there and watch Oakley dragged out of the garden? How can he sit there and not stop it? How can he let him sit there yeah. a night in jail? Honestly, I was done. I was done. Yeah. It's just so difficult. But I grew, I grew up in Staten Island. Bernard King was my guy. And, yeah. and then when Bernard um, hurt his knee and the Knicks got Ewing because of it, I thought, here comes here comes the Bernard and Patrick era, and it just never materialized. And But that's my that, that was yeah. my team. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.